Let's show everybody your muscles. Let's show some muscles here. So yeah, look at my muscles. Muscle. Firstly, the number of children with disabilities are increasing every year. Thus, the rehabilitation team are unable to cope with the number of patients. Secondly, uh, the current rehabilitation that uses robot has limited function and difficult to customize. Rehabilitation medicine is an area of specialization from which uh, we cater for patients with chronic impairment. And they are basically um, complex impairment that requires a multidisciplinary team approach so that the patients can get a comprehensive and holistic um, recovery with regards to their disabilities. Now with regards to children, the approach is slightly different, primarily because uh, children with disabilities have not developed the skills yet. You know, as compared to adults, they have the pre-existing skills so when we talk about rehabilitation in adults, it's relearning of the skills that they have lost. Our system mainly consists of two parts. The first part is the imitation program. The imitation program consists of Humanoid RobotNow and Microsoft Kinect Sensor. RobotNow will conduct the imitation module by doing a set of poses that are needed to be imitated by the children with disabilities. Kinect Sensor assisted with MATLAB coding is used to determine whether the imitation by the children is correct or incorrect. The result then uploaded to the database and FusionX. The second part is the website development. This website is used by the multidisciplinary team to monitor the result obtained from afar. This website also used to interact with patient or their parents. FusionX giant platform is also used in this project to manage and display the data obtained in an interactive graphical display. Besides that, the smart query function in FusionX Giant allow instant access to insight from the data. One is the frequency. By having telerehabilitation um, and being able to do the therapy at home means that the child will get uh, the frequency that is required. Um, the child will also get the intensity of the therapy that is required, which is something that uh, most government hospitals cannot offer. Uh, we cannot see the child on a daily basis. Second, um, your, pro your, your system can also allow the rehabilitation team uh, that is based in the hospital to communicate uh, and to monitor the progress from, um, from a distance. For this system, Humanoid Robot Now will execute the imitation module by doing a set of posts that are needed to be imitated by the children. Using the skeleton tracking function on Microsoft Kinect Sensor, MATLAB will be able to determine whether the children's imitation are correct. The number of trials needed to imitate the post successfully will be converted into points. These points will be uploaded to the database and updated on the website in real time to be monitored and analyzed. The impact of the system, um, I feel, uh, will have uh, the uh, intensity and the uh, frequency that the children require. So the impact on the individuals themselves will be a uh, better outcome in terms of their rehabilitation. The impact to the health institution uh, would mean that we will have better communication with them. Uh, it allows us to uh, have space in between um, uh, therapy so that they are not dependent on coming to hospital every time for therapy. Okay, um, I've had a look at the system. Uh, it is quite exciting. Uh, it is something that we uh, very much need in the rehabilitation fraternity. I find that uh, the program addresses quite a few issues that we find uh, quite problematic uh, during our uh, rehabilitation of children with uh, disabilities.